The 20th first century. Tanks remain one of the main weapons in all ground forces worldwide. It's no wonder that we're interested in China's military developments, which traditionally involve the use of the best available technology. However, often the true characteristics of Chinese tanks remain secret and concealed. Today we will discuss China's main tank, the Type 99, which is officially certified as a third-generation tank. The Type 98 tank, which is essentially a prototype of the Type 99 assault tank, first appeared in limited numbers with 18 units displayed in the National Parade on October 1, 1999. This demonstrates China's careful approach to developing military technology, producing a small number of units for evaluation and initial testing. The further development of the Type 98, later named the Type 99, had the main goal of competing with the American Abrams tank. Although in some technical aspects, this Chinese tank adopts or is similar to some technical elements of the American combat tank. In appearance, the Type 99 is similar to the Soviet T-72 tank, with the control center in the middle of the tank body and the engine transmission at the rear. In the field, the engine can be replaced in half an hour. The torsion bar suspension consists of six road wheels on each side, with the drive wheel at the back. However, the weakness of the Type 99 is that its turret is slightly larger, creating a gap at the front between the turret and the tank body. This makes the tank vulnerable to potential turret damage if a projectile hits it. Additionally, the Type 99 has not been sufficiently improved to protect its crew in the case of penetration by a cumulative projectile. There are weak points in the internal armor, and if a projectile penetrates to the rear of the tank, the crew is almost certain to be killed. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on other interesting videos. The Type 99 is armed with a 125mm caliber gun, which is an original Chinese development. Various types of ammunition can be used, including anti-aircraft penetrators and cumulative anti-tank projectiles. There are also reports of the use of anti-tank missiles controlled through this gun. Shot accuracy is improved with laser rangefinders, wind sensors, ballistic calculations, and a thermal sleeve on the gun barrel. This tank is capable of firing on the move because it has two-axis stabilization and a panoramic sight that allows the commander to direct the shot without the gunner's guidance. With six periscopes, the commander can also direct shots without the gunner's assistance, thanks to the thermal display on the commander's screen. The Type 99 is also equipped with an information processing system that combines data from GPS, observation sensors, and various other sensors to be displayed on the commander's screen. The turret and tank body are protected by upgradable modular steel layers and, if necessary, a dynamic reactive protection system that uses a powerful laser might be installed to destroy enemy optical devices. This system might also include a laser warning receiver that allows the tank to quickly target the source of the enemy's laser. The Type 99 is likely to be placed in limited numbers in China's elite People's Liberation Army units. Meanwhile, the more affordable Type 96 tank will be used to replace the Type 69 tank in larger quantities. What is your opinion on China's ability to develop this advanced combat tank technology? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on updates on military videos and other exceeding technological developments.